What's going on guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Can a Driving Instructor Do the Magic Roundabout in Swindon, UK? This video was recommended to me by a subscriber who noticed that I was starting to get interested in learning about driving in the UK. So far, I've only seen one other video that was specifically about driving, and that video was about some of the differences between driving in the US versus driving in the UK. And I really enjoyed that video. Uh, you know, we definitely have quite a few differences. And one of those differences is the fact that you guys seem to have a ton of roundabouts in the UK, and I've really hardly had any experience with roundabouts at all. When it comes to this magic roundabout in Swindon, UK, I think I have seen uh, a picture of this roundabout, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I remember some videos seeing an absolute crazy roundabout. Uh, some I couldn't even picture how you would drive <laughs> on this roundabout. So I'm guessing this may be the roundabout they're talking about here. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and see what it's like to drive this crazy magic roundabout in Swindon, UK. I'm on my way to Swindon, a town located in the southern half of England in between Reading and Bristol. Swindon is home to the infamous magic roundabout. And I want to see if I, a driving instructor who has been driving for 18 years and teaching for over 13, can do the roundabout off the cuff. Just oh. using the road signs and markings, no sat nav and no prior knowledge. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is crazy. Like I've said, I I have little experience with roundabouts. I mean, the closest thing to like the the I guess I've I've done a couple of roundabouts in my life and all it is is like like in the middle of no I've never done a roundabout in traffic like this. The roundabouts, the few I've seen have been like on like, you know, side streets where there's hardly any traffic and it's just like a circle in the road with with like two or three exit or you know two or three roads coming off of it and it's like no big deal it's just uh very easy this is insane wow like like this has roundabouts within the roundabout that's crazy okay let's continue i've never been there before will i go the intended way and will i use the correct lane so I've used the sat nav to get here. I'm getting near the roundabout now, so I'm gonna turn the sat nav off. And when I see the sign for this magic roundabout, I'm gonna choose a direction to go. There's the sign there. And I'm gonna try and go that way. I'm gonna to go towards, I don't know how to say it, Serencester? Sorry if I've offended someone that I don't know how to pronounce their town, but yeah, it says, Serencester, which <laughs> means I'm going right, left, right at three mini roundabouts. Even you guys have trouble pronouncing some of the town names, it sounds like, man. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, Serencester, I guess that's what I would probably say too. Um, this is actually one of the first times I've uh, seen driving from a first hand experience. You know, you know what I mean? Like, what is it? What do you call it? First person, I guess. Uh, in the UK. I can't think. Have I seen? Yeah, I think I've seen one other time on a bus or something, uh, but definitely not something I've seen very often. I, I Hardly at all. So I'm going to guess I need the right lane. Have to wait at these red lights now. That's the sat nav saying I've got here because I programmed the sat nav to get to this roundabout. So it's right, left, right. Yes, I think I remember that correctly. I'm not 100% sure though. Here goes. So right at this mini roundabout. Looks clear. I'm gonna go to the left There's lane. There's no lights. Go left at the next one. Although I'm worried I might need the middle. Looks okay. Clear. What the? And then I'm gonna go to the right lane to go right at this one. Three lanes. Three lanes on each mini. That's difficult. Waiting for this van now. Wow, man. And now so I can go because you don't have much time to change lane in between okay. the roundabouts there. And as there's three, it's kind of confusing as to which one you choose. I'm going left or right. 
So surely it's either left or right. I'm not sure. Okay, and this is a driving instructor saying, oh, it can, it's a little bit confusing, you know, at first. Uh, that tells me when I visit, I probably shouldn't go and try to drive that right off the bat if I'm in that area. Oh my goodness, man. Well, what to use the middle lane for? Hopefully I got the right exit towards Serencester. I'm not entirely sure. I'll check when I review this footage and I'll make a note if I- It's pronounced Siren, Se Siren Sister? I've just turned round and I'm gonna try the roundabout from another direction. Where's the sign? Another Here thing- we are. I'm oh. going towards Walcott. Another thing I wanna say is, we don't hardly have any of these types of, what are row houses, I believe is what they called. I, I saw those in another video that, that these were really popular. Like a lot of people live in these types of houses. Uh, we do have townhouses, which are, I guess, similar to these and kind of, but, um, this is, uh, definitely something I don't have. I don't think I've, I don't think I have any of those in my area at all. None. And which I'm probably, which I'm pretty sure is probably odd to a lot of people in the UK. Cause this is probably, you know, what you see on a regular basis. And I, it'd be very unique for me to see these types of houses. I like them. They're very interesting. Which is left, right, left. So, signaling okay, now left. You're going... No road markings on the next one. I can go. I'm going right. So, positioning myself to the right, indicating right, I can go. And then I'm going left. So, signaling left, checking my mirrors, moving over to the left. Looks like I've got to give way on this one. Really no road markings here at all. Now I can't see because of the van. And now I can see I can go. I need to figure out what that middle lane can before I have an idea I'm going to go back and try again if I go left using the middle lane that should set me up for the right lane for when I want to go right at the last roundabout I didn't actually realize there was four lanes at this roundabout until after my I, next attempt I didn't know they could make Let's roundabouts look like that that's Siren crazy Center again so that's right left right indicate right starting in the right lane it says town center on the left so or the middle lane should I say so I'm pretty sure oh they all say town center so I don't know so I'm going right here but this time instead of going to the left lane I'm going to go into the middle lane like this and then that's going to set me up to go right at the next one there's actually four lanes there didn't realize that so now I'm in the right four. lane to the right of this one. Four. It's very bad. Four lanes. Three lanes, all with arrows pointing straight. That's crazy. And the middle lane is, well, it's a little bit, how can I say, it's ambiguous. <laughs> Maybe you can go both ways in it. I'm sure if you're local to the area, you'll know what most people usually do. I'm gonna try a more challenging one this time. So I'm gonna go towards Routon, but I'm gonna go left, right, right, left. I'm gonna go the long way round. So left, right, right, left. It's four roundabouts. Need to remember that. Left, right, right, left. Starting in the left lane. Both of them say ahead. Signaling left. It, it, it's so interesting because I keep on catching myself when he pulls up on this. I wanna like I wanna turn right, and when he turns left, I'm like, whoa. But, you know, obviously you guys drive on the left and so I'm just totally not used to that. But it's just so my brain uh, is just having a hard time, you know, just at first. Obviously, I understand it. I understand that you guys drive on the left and everything. It makes sense. But it's like my brain just wants to pull to the right. And it's just like, what are you doing? And then I'm like, oh, wait, you're you know, you're supposed to drive on the left here. Left. Looks clear signaling right and changing lane checking my mirrors as well of course looks clear and I'm gonna go right at this one as well so staying right this one looks clear and mirror signal left drift to the left lane behind this Audi oh no looks like I'm blocking the roundabout to go left here yes yeah, so I blocked the roundabout a little bit there I should have probably waited before and left it clear although saying that it would have just let the other cars block it anyway so it wasn't really helping many people and now i've got a red light 
In Colchester, my hometown, there's a roundabout similar to this, except it's a lot easier. The roundabouts are much further apart from each other and most of it's only two lanes. Also, the arrows somewhat make sense. Here, all the arrows say straight and there's three lanes. And I even noticed four lanes at one part and it's just like, well, how could you use four lanes there? It doesn't seem to make much sense. You could say I'm using the wrong lane, but that's only local knowledge. Left lane to go left, right lane to go right, middle lane to go straight if there's three, or if that's not the case, you need road signs and markings to tell mm -hmm. you where you're going. But the road markings there aren't very helpful as they all say ahead. If this was a busy time, and it's actually getting nearer a busy time now, so it might get harder the next time I do it, I think it would be quite difficult if you're not local because you're gonna to struggle to change lane to go where you wanna go at the roundabout and you may end up going the wrong way. Oh, Another man. attempt at this magic roundabout. Is there a sign? <laughs> yeah, the sign is actually quite good. It's quite helpful at letting you know which way you need to go at each mini roundabout, but the road markings aren't helpful. So I'm going to go... Um, Marlborough looks a bit too easy. I'm going to try and go town centre, but I'm going to start off by going right. So right, left, 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 and then right. So right, left, left, oh. left, and then right. So three lefts, right, three, three lefts, and then a right. It's getting busy now, so it will probably be harder. Going the long way round will also make it more challenging as well, and it may be a bit more interesting. Yellow box area here, so I'll leave that clear. That's the fire station on the left. I guess that, that's why that's there. indicating right so it's right three lefts and a right I oh my god oh my goodness right. dude this I is like a, a blue car, which is this tastes getting left. used to man it really would indicating left to go left at the next one oh that bus stopped which means again i'm not actually blocking the roundabout this time but close that's the trouble with these roundabouts that are so close together it's it's hard not to block them. The traffic stops and unless you wait for your exit to be clear, and it only takes one bus here to block it, unless you wait for it to be clear, you're gonna maybe block it and that's not practical. So I can go this one going left. That's my first left, isn't it? This is my second left and it looks like, just check there, there's not like anyone's coming. Can't really see though, no, that's clear. And then another Dude. left. Here. I'm gonna go in the middle lane this time because I want to set myself up we're going right at the next one. <laughs> that makes sense here, but I can't go because it's all blocked. As you can see, it is rush hour now, so it's getting busy. Oh man, yeah, that would have been a bad time to do but this, to learn again. this roundabout. Do I have an opportunity? Not yet, but after this white Mercedes, it looks good. And then signal left, drifting to the, not left, sorry, signal right, Drifting to the right, and thank you, he's left it clear, but I'm too late. He's going now. It's good that he left it clear there, leaving it clear. So, so they just, people just randomly happening. know where to stop. Thank you. I mean, I, okay, and I think it's a stop no line right there, okay. The left, so I can go into the left lane, ignoring the lights now, too close to stop. And then these two lanes become one anyway. Well, actually it is a bus lane, it doesn't become one, but I do have to move back to the right for the bus lane. So there we go, Swindon's magic roundabout. Deal with one mini roundabout at a time. Choose the lane that will help you with the first roundabout, but also that will help set you up for the next one. So if you're going right, choose the right lane. But if you're going right, then left, maybe choose the middle lane to help set you up for going left at the second roundabout if the middle lane looks appropriate. As I say, there's not much <laughs> help here. Do not think about the roundabout in the middle. When people say these roundabouts are a roundabout encircled by roundabouts, that's just confusing because the roundabout in the middle isn't important. You're not thinking about that. That's true, that that's true, makes sense. You're just giving way at the giveaway line to each mini. Wow, okay, so all these are like basically what you would consider stop lines, basically, uh, yeah, okay. There's no stop signs, they're just these stop lines place where you wait to make sure no traffic's coming. 
looking at this, it just looks so jumbled. It's just, wow. It's crazy, man. Round about one at a time. If you do that, you should be fine. And also be willing to go the wrong way. If you end up in the wrong lane and you can't change lane, it's better to go the wrong way than to either possibly have a collision or yeah, that's road true. rage. Usually that's true. when you go down the road, it doesn't take long before you can go around a roundabout or if you're following your sat nav, that will probably just redirect you a slightly different route. I'm filming this on the 16th of August, 2022, and we've just had another heat wave and this is the end of it. So this rain is welcome, although it's gonna make the video a bit harder now. I just wanna try the roundabout using the sat nav. So sound is on, sound is on. Yep, she's not saying anything. Hmm. Well, I can see on the map, it's telling me to go right here. So I'm gonna stay in the right lane. And I don't think Google knows what to say about this roundabout because <laughs> uh, it hasn't told me anything. It's like, what, what is this? It's telling me to use all three lanes to go right. It's proper rush hour now, so it is really busy. And I've just been outside filming the roundabout and there's a lot of horns. So if you live near here, you'd certainly be used to that sound. Okay, still not said anything. I'm gonna go right though, as it looks like on here. And it looks like I can go, no, nope, maybe not. And then I've got to go left, I think. Right, now I can go. I've got time, I've got an exit. And then, ah, well this happens. In 50 yards oh. at the roundabout, take the first exit and stay on so the magic first roundabout. exit, I need the left lane. So indicate left here. I'm in the middle lane, that's actually helpful because I'm going left at this one and then right at the next. Can't see to the right at the moment. Yeah, there's a car coming, so I'll wait for them. No one coming now. Signal right into the right lane. In 50 yards and at the clear. roundabout, take the second exit onto Queen's Drive, A4312. That's not helpful. <laughs> In a quarter of a mile at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Queen's Drive, A4259. Okay, I might just turn you off because you're not going to help. A4259. So, yeah, the sat nav was telling me what to do at the second and third roundabout, but not the first. And it told me what to do when I was already on the roundabout. And then it told me what to do a quarter of a mile up the road for this roundabout. I think it needs Wait, to work another one? timing. So the sat nav isn't much help when it comes to dealing with that roundabout. Even the image on screen wasn't really helping me with knowing whether or not I'm going left, right, left. The best thing to do is use the sign, figure out which exit you need, and then look at the blue roundabout symbols on the sign. And if you wanna say go here, that'll be right, left, right. Or if you mm. wanna go here, that'll be left, left. You should only need to do a maximum of three mini roundabouts. Well, it's all getting a little bit dark and wet at the moment. I'm not bothered though, I've just finished filming and I'm quite happy because I haven't seen proper rain in like two months. If you think the video is interesting and helpful, please give it a thumbs up. All right, he did an excellent job with this. Uh, you know, I, I had seen the uh, magic roundabout from an image, I think. I think it was that roundabout and it was like, this is insane. Uh, you know, now I kind of understand it a little bit better, but I gotta say, man, that would be really stressful. You know, for someone, who has no experience with driving roundabouts at all, something like that would just be really stressful to begin with. It would take a minute to really kind of understand what's going on there and uh, feel comfortable with it. But I think that's just driving in another country in and of, in of itself is, uh, you know, kind of a can be pr pretty stressful. You know, I've, I've drove in some Asian countries and on motorbikes and uh, man, talk about stressful. So maybe the UK driving isn't, as stressful as that, or maybe it is because you're driving on the left. Um, I don't know.
I'm definitely interested in learning more about driving in the UK. Also, Ireland. I want to check out some videos about driving in Ireland as well. Um, so if you guys have any videos, ideas that uh, you think I would enjoy checking out about driving specifically, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Also, please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments and suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.